Hello everyone, Steve here from Tech Toy Tinker and Retro Arena. Today I'm going to show you the Beta 2 build, which is now public for the RG351MP. As you can see here, all the standard stuff to copy your ROMs to SD2 or USB is here. Also the script that will show you your CPU temperature and which processes are running and how much they're using. <coughs> Just in case you want a general diagnostic idea. Also the file manager is here. There's Dingix, or Commander, and also 351 files which will allow you to view images and edit text files. Sorry, the tripod's a little wobbly. Theme Master and Port Master are both here, and they are both working, so you can download ports and themes over the air on the device. And my goal is to also have an over-the-air image updater by the time it moves from beta to stable. Show you port our theme master as well quickly while we're here. One thing to keep in mind about theme master, when you enter it, whether you install a theme or not, it assumes you have and restarts emulation station upon exit to make sure you have access to your new themes. You use the settings here if you want to change repositories or which means where you're getting themes from basically. As you can see here it's going to take a moment to exit because it's making it's verifying everything and then it's going to reboot emulation station. The reboot of ES is necessary whenever you install a theme otherwise you won't see it. Also the ability to watch movies or TV shows is here in this build as well. That'll clear off the screen eventually. It's just residual. So as you can see, A is pause. L and R, rewind, fast forward. B is exit. Quick look at the ports that we got going on here. As you can see, we're getting quite a few. There's still a few that are on the port master that hasn't had not been installed here yet. Feel free to install them and try them out. Just keep in mind some ports are not freeware and they require you to have your own game files. And none of us condone piracy, so we highly would prefer you to actually own the game if you're going to install the port. show you some of the systems here. Retro Run has been fixed so you can now use that for your N64 and your Dreamcast titles so they run better than with RetroArch. The Solaris configs have also been fixed. cat getting into trouble again. I plan to test N64 a bit more extensively in the next couple of days. I've only tried a handful of games, but the majority of them seem to work alright. I'm, I'm using the GLES um, the core with GLES, I should say, not rice. GLES to N64. I'll just run around for a minute quickly so you can get a general idea. 
Or I could just run right into a hill that does nothing. Okay, try again. As you can see, it's not lagging or whatever, it's moving at a reasonable pace, you can play it. I think there's 115 systems right now on here, I want to say. Dreamcast also uses Retro Run. As do Naomi and Atmos Wave. Saturn you can as well. But with Saturn, to be honest, only some games work. Some games are not really good and some are fine. A lot of the 2D games and easier to run ones, Mortal Kombat 2, things like that, those are fine. As I was saying earlier, this build is now public. You can download it at techtoytinker.com on the handheld corner. The file's being hosted courtesy of SPC Gaming, so thank you to them. Also, a thank you goes out to Christian Haitian for helping me out with this build. Well, we've been helping each other, really, but still. Credit where credit is due. As you can see, there's quite a large assortment of different systems and handhelds. There's still a few more that I would like to add as well. I'll obviously be working on that at <laughs> Dick Smith. I love that. I should make that the thumbnail. Should be almost done. Yep, and we come back around to where we started. So, there's RetroArch in here, 32, 64 bit. You can go in here, change options. You can launch things directly from there if you really want to. But that's going to do it for this video. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you're enjoying your new Anvernick 351 MPs or RG351MP, I should say. Anyways, take care. Thank you.